Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. This video I did not have planned, but I feel like I have to make it. My Discord is already getting flooded, I've already started receiving emails and text messages, and I feel like this video needs to be made. 11th Hour Games, today, two hours ago, has officially announced a new game partnership. And by the way, I'm finally taking some meds. I should start sounding better soon. And I know I'm going to get to my reaction, okay? But first, I'm going to tell you the news, okay? 11th Hour Games new partnership. Hello, travelers. We have some exciting news that we'd like to share with you today. And I'm going to go through the entire post just so you have everything, okay? <clears throat> As many of you know, 11th Hour Games comes from a very humble beginnings. Last Epoch originated from a simple Reddit post asking other ARPG enthusiasts who wants to join up and make the next great ARPG. It's already great. I added that part in there. It started as a true after hours passion project that most of us worked on in the evenings for nearly a year while holding other jobs to pay the bills. Since then, we've grown rapidly and our community continues to share our enthusiasm for the game and the genre. It became clear that as we gained traction and set our sights on a more ambitious game, that our growth would require more talent, hardware, software, and ultimately more moolah, more funds. Due to this, I've spent 353 days, yes, exactly, approaching, fielding publishers, angle investors, angel investors, venture capital firms, and banks seeking more funds to ensure the stability and growth of 11th Hour Games and Last Epoch. During that time, we've received multiple verbal and written offers, but many came with a requested level of control, stipulations, insertions, and operations, requirements, and involvement that I suspect suspected may not be in the best interest of the game or company. Don't give away your game. That's correct. I've meticulously crafted a team of ARPG fanatics that I that know and want what is best for Last Epoch and our community. This team is something that I've always protected at all costs, so giving up nearly any level of control was not something I was willing to entertain, which, as you can imagine, is hard for a lot of investors. Okay. Are you ready? Here, I mean, you read the thumbnail. You already know the announcement. Luckily, after nearly 18 months, I began talks with a team from Tencent Games who were already fans of Last Epoch and had followed us for quite some time. They have witnessed our ability to produce release content for nearly four years in early access, grow a team, and grow an enthusiastic player base. Their team has played the game thoroughly and came into the conversation with a level of enthusiasm and trust in us that we were looking for due to their passion for Last Epoch. But most importantly, because of their willingness to let our design create and operate and grow how we see fit, we have accepted a low equity investment from Tencent Games. Oh, this investment does not does many wonderful things for the 11th hour game team. We could hire, we could continue through 1.0. I, I should read. Guaranteed the stability of the development of the pipeline through 1.0, allow fundings for new hardware, allow us to hire and contract industry experts, allow us to expand our team, allowing us marketing capital for 1.0 release, ensuring our stability and growth as a studio for years to come. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to my opinion, okay? Here's Judd's response, okay? Because he knew what was going to happen. He knows the internet, he knows gamers, he knows the community, he also probably, I mean, he's a smart guy, he also probably knows the reputation of Tencent. Honestly, we are thrilled to have found and, ex uh, and executed this opportunity. Now I want to be clear, now I want to be clear that, <clears throat> now I want to clear the air of some concerns that this news may bring to our long-term community. I've personally been on the player side of this coin, where I see one of my cherished independent game studios partner with a larger company and worry that the independent company and games they produce may be altered for the worse. Which, majority of the time, is the case. Right? Look at Blizzard and Activision. Ooh. 
I want to ensure you that the reason that I held out so long to find the right investment and investment partner is because I believe it is the utmost importance that we maintain our ability to operate and execute under our own discretion. This partnership comes with no obligation to change any plans regarding our development of Last Epoch and no binding development agreement to execute on. As a studio, we've retained full, it's a key word, full creative control and autonomy, and this only bolsters our ability to execute on our vision better. Thanks to Kickstarter and players like you, you have purchased the game and continue to advocate for us. Yes, yes, yes. What does this ultimately mean? We'd be healthier and better than ever. Tencent is now low equity investment means they are another way of writing that would be a low owner of 11th hour games. Tencent owns part of the company. What's the problem? This sounds amazing. They get complete creative control to do everything we've known they are capable of, but now have the mucho dinero to make it that much better, to bring that LE vision to life. So why are people freaking out, okay? Well, it's because I would say 98% of the community absolutely love the studio and 98% of the community absolutely hate Tencent. So when you put those two together, you're gonna get a lot of conflicting emotions. And I feel the exact same way, all right? Path of Exile, Tencent grabbed a large majority share of grinding here games. And some people think, dude, Path of Exile's never been better. And a lot of people think Path of Exile's never been worse. POE just dropped a new mid-league battle pass for cosmetic skins that's $30. And everyone immediately pointed and said, oh, there's Tencent. They're getting their claws in. And I think that's why people are reacting how they're reacting. Because every major acquisition, whether it's GGG and Tencent, whether it's Blizzard and Activision, like pick, pick your favorite studio that went south, right? Most of them will put out a post like this, right? Because no one's going to say, oh, and everything's going to change. No one's going to say, oh, everything is going to change. But slowly over time, things begin to change. Now, is that what's going to happen here? I'm telling you right now. I've made 805 YouTube videos now. 218 of those videos are on Last Epoch. All right. Built my whole channel, you know, around this game and news. My entire Twitch around this game. I have complete and utter confidence in this studio. All right. So if they're saying it's fine, I am going to trust them and I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I promise you, I promise, if I see Tencent BS, just like a lot of other content creators, I will call it out, okay? But as of right now, I have no reason to believe that. If they truly have complete 100% autonomy over the entire creative direction, the release dates, the future of the game, then we should be fine, okay? Everything should be fine. But of course it's scary. Like when I first saw it, I was like, no, no. I was talking to another creator. I was like, it's like you have a baby. You raise that baby. You take care of that baby and you nurture that baby and you know everything about that baby. And then that baby grows up and they fly away. You know, they start their own life. They no longer need you. Kind of how this feels a little bit. So that's a, being here, you know, through Kickstarter and seeing the development and seeing everything. And it's like, oh, now a major studio is a part owner. A major studio that most people feel is an evil studio. Like, it's like, ooh, that, that, there's concern there. There's concern there, but I trust Judd. I've talked to Judd. 
you know, I, I believe in his direction and I believe everything he's done so far has been fine. So I'm going to trust him until he breaks his word. Or maybe he never breaks his word. I don't want to say, like, I don't want to put it like that. But you hear what I'm saying. Um, if this is what they're putting out there, I'm going to believe in them. And I hope they stay the course. I hope they stay true to themselves. Tencent is now a low equity owner of 11th Hour Games. I want to know your opinion. Does this worry you? Is this uh, great, the game's going to be better, or is it a uninstall? I need to hear it. Be honest. Be truthful. Let me know in the comment section below. That's all I've got. I don't want to talk anymore. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Aaron, out. <laughs>